Hey guys, how's it going? Otaku Mike here, back again with another video for you guys today. If you're new to the channel, and you like the content I, that I create, please consider subscribing, like, and share the video. It actually does help in the long run for the channel to grow. And go check out my feature channel's listings for all the people that I actually watch in the MangaTube community. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. Time for our January manga haul. The first manga haul of 2021. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so the first manga I actually picked up for this month is uh, The End of a Series. It's a reimagining of a classic Going to Guy series. Um, I picked up Volume 5 of Get a Robo, Devolution. Yeah, this is the end right here. And you only got three minutes until the universe ends. This is a really good series, an underrated series, in my personal opinion. Go check it out if you enjoy robots, going a guy, kaiju monsters. You don't have to really know anything about Get a Robo to get into this. I did a first impressions like a year or two ago, no, two years ago, I think. And uh, I still enjoy it. Go check this series out. It's really cool. Here, I'll actually, I'll show you guys some artwork. Look, there's some artwork right there. I hope I didn't spoil anything for you guys. Let's see. Next, we have volume... What is this? Volume 4 of Gigant. Surprise hit of last year. Just saying. This is a really good manga. It's about this um, adult film star who becomes a giant and fights these like other giant kaiju creatures. It's really cool. It's like graphic, violent. What can you expect from the man who gave us the wonderful Gantz manga? Well, a porn star that fights giant monsters, that's what. So what do we got next? Next we have sort of a disappointment. I read this, I did a review on it. We got Slasher Maidens Volume 1. This was an okay manga. It's about these women or girls who fight kaiju and they use discarded parts that were made into weapons to fight kaiju. The premise was really cool, but I couldn't really get into one specific thing about it. Check out my review and you'll know exactly what I didn't really like about it. It's not a bad premise, it just didn't click with me. So, I'm not saying it's terrible. It's just an okay manga, in my personal opinion. Alright, so let's move on to the next manga I picked up. I picked up uh, No Gun's Life, Volume 8. I hear shit gets real in this manga. Oh, I'm a little behind. I'm, like, I'm on a volume six right now but this is a really really cool manga highly recommend it i didn't even know volume 8 came out but yeah volume 8 cool cyberpunk manga that nobody talks about then we have world's end harem was this volume 9 if you've been watching my channel um you know you know i'm a big fan of world's end harem uh just a really fun Manga, see if I can show you guys any. I can't. Oh, here's some artwork I can I can kind of show you. There you go. There's some. More. If you don't know what it's about, it's kind of like Why the Last Man, but in Japan. And yeah, they have to reproduce and stuff like that. It's a pretty interesting manga. Don't let the harem etchy part fool you. It's actually really good, and I actually really enjoy it. Next, we have. Uh, this one actually hasn't come out in a while, but we have Monster Musume Volume 16, right? Oh, right there. I can show you the back. It's a pretty cool manga. Um, I'm really behind on it. I hear it's kind of gone off the rails a little bit. Uh, it's not as focused story-wise recently as it used to be. It's kind of gone off in these weird directions from what I've heard. But I gotta catch up uh, eventually. I'll get uh, back to it. Funny story, I actually went and picked this up at my local Barnes & Noble. I went up to go purchase it and this lady was like, Oh, you have a a very um, like whimsical soul. 
or like playful soul. And I was like, what are you talking about? She was like, your wallet. Because I had like a Ren Stimpy wallet. And then she's like, oh, you have a dark soul as well. And I was like, dark soul? I have a dark soul? Really? She's like, yeah, because you bought this book. And I was like, oh my God, let me get out of here now. Like, come on, just sell me the book. Don't comment about what I'm reading. You know, it's just, it's just crazy. It's really crazy. So let's move on to the next manga I picked. All right. So the next manga I picked up, I picked up, this one's from Dimpa Books. This is uh, Pleasure and Corruption Volume 3 right here. Yeah. This series is really good. I did a first impressions on it like a year ago. Um, this is about this guy who gets in this weird, like, messed up relationship with this girl who has a bondage fetish. <laughs> it is weird, and I love it so much. It's cool. Here's some of the artwork right there. There's some of the artwork that I can actually show you guys because it's kind of for mature readers only. Uh, so if you're under 18, don't pick this up. But if you're over 18, you should pick this up because it's that. It's a pretty, it's a pretty interesting series. A lot of people compare it to Flowers of Evil. Uh, that's what I've heard. Uh, but yeah, it's a. Uh, it's really good, and I gotta read more of it. It comes out super slow. Like, really slow. Um, so, yeah. Got that. The next, we have a new manga. I haven't read this one yet. A lot of these I haven't read because I got a lot of them today. Um, they came in my box from my stuff. Uh, but we have Tomochan is a Fox Volume 1 right here. The title kind of explains it all. Tomo-chan is a fox, and she wants to go to high school. That's kind of the premise of this. Um, I don't really know what it's about, but I will show you guys some artwork right there. Hope that's a, yeah, that seems, yeah, it's okay to show. All right, next we have on here, we have Volume 3 of Worlds in Harem Fantasia. This is the spin-off series. Not really a spin-off to the popular Worlds in Harem series, but it's set in a fantasy world. This one, I actually gotta get caught up on. I don't really remember exactly what happens in this series. It's been such a long time since I've actually read a volume of Worlds in Harem Fantasia. It's, it's been that long. Because uh, this book comes out like super slow. And it took me a while to actually get this. Because Right Stuff was sold out for quite some time, I'm guessing because of the pandemic. Uh, it's been quite hard to get my hands on some of the more adult books, I guess you could say, in uh, Right Stuff's catalog. But yeah, there's some of the artwork right there. Yeah, um, this is fun. Uh, this is a fun series. Highly recommend checking it out. I like the covers. I like there's like a matte finish. On the covers right there you know let's move on to see what else I got in my manga haul all right so the next series or manga that I picked up is uh, one that's actually been going around the manga tube um, universe or community whatever you want to call it uh, this one's actually been very popular I think there's some polarizing things going on in the fandom about it, um, but I picked up Rent a Girlfriend uh, Volume 1. This is about a guy who needs a girlfriend and he pays money for her. Some might call that prostitution, but some people don't. Uh, I have not read it yet, but I have heard nothing but good things except for those few people that have said a couple bad things about it. Because apparently, like, the main character's kind of stupid. Uh, but yeah, I picked this up, and I was like, what the hell? So I picked up Volume 2, just to give it a fair shot. I decided to pick this up. Does he, I wonder if he rents, like, multiple girlfriends, or does he just have the one girlfriend? So there's another girl in this book. I guess I have to find out, figure out what exactly is going on. I actually have to be a good manga fan and read my manga. 
but I've actually been very busy, so I can't really read it. All right, so we're getting down to the last chunk of the manga haul. Um, this next one is an isekai. I really enjoyed the first two volumes. I just started reading this volume today, and I picked up Dungeon Builder. Uh, what is it called? Dungeon Builder. The Demon King's Labyrinth is a Modern City. This book has pleasantly surprised me. I am so surprised by it. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy the... It might be an isekai. I think it might be an isekai. I don't know. Or a reincarnated manga. Um, I haven't really said that yet, but I have a feeling it might be. Um, it's a pretty, pretty cool manga. It's different from a lot of the other isekai mangas out there. Cause there isn't, there's fighting in it, but there's not that much fighting in it. Um, he actually, Purcell, the demon lord, actually just built his um, city that's actually a dungeon. Um, and he's just getting all that set up. I actually was just really surprised he actually set it up that fast. Um, but uh, people are trying to get rid of his dungeon city thing. Uh, but this is a pretty cool manga if you haven't checked it out. It's about a demon lord who wants to have a city that helps demon, demi-humans and people at the same time. It's a pretty interesting series and he's got like these like monster demi-humans that he summons. It's, it's really, really cool. I'm probably explaining it really bad right now. But yeah, here's volume three right there. Check it out. Ooh, the lights probably, that's, that's a bad glare right there. All right. Last but not least, um, I picked this up actually at the end, end, very end of last year. I did a video on it. But we have um, My Dress Up Darlings, My Dress Up Darling Volume 1. And then we have Volume 2 right here, which my Volume 2 is actually a little bit damaged. I did not see that. Pretty fun manga right here don't know what this is about this is about a guy who gets wrapped up in uh this girl's cosplaying uh thing and he has to go and basically make all of her cosplays so she can cosplay um yeah it's fun i really enjoy it i can't wait to get volume three since it's that damn good um so yeah there is my haul for this month um Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys like, subscribe, and go check out the other manga tubers that are on my featured channels listings to check them out and give them some love as well uh, because they deserve it just as much as me. Um, they're actually probably better in some aspects than me because um, I kind of just throw my videos together sometimes. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Comment down below. Let me know, are you picking any of these series up? And give me your thoughts on uh, the manga that I picked up. What else should I pick up? What else should I read? I know I've been kind of slacking on my manga reading because I've been really busy at work and I haven't had time to read and other things have been taking up my interest like building my Gundam models and playing some video games. So I'm really gonna try to get back into actually reading more manga soon. I actually started today. Uh, but yeah, uh, and I hope to pump out some more manga content for you guys and p possibly some new comic reviews because I actually got a bunch of new comic books as well. And I can't wait to show you guys those and talk about them because I also do really, really love comic books too. Uh, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I will talk to you, Mike, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace out, stay safe, and uh, 